well as I said before, uh, I'll do another part, and there may be one after this, I don't know. There's a lot in this show, and it's well worth your time to watch and pay attention to what they're doing. So, you know, you might want to give that a go. I can't remember everything, but I'm going to put what I do. Now, somewhere at some point in the show, they talked and I should have paid more attention to what episode we were on. They talked about this company that had uh, made a bunch of genetically modified corn. And what was funny was, for one of the first times ever, they actually said how they were doing it. They take a, a germ or a bacteria and some kind of something and they give the DNA, make it sick. And while it's trying to fix itself, they insert whatever particular uh, element they want into that. And that's how they go about splicing the DNA. A good uh, good thing to, to uh, look up is uh, Jeffrey, I cannot remember his last name. Seeds of Destruction. Um, right now they're just selling books through here. I guess it's William Ingdahl. There's a Jeffrey something that he uh, he stood up to him for years. And the problem is, as long as it's one person standing up, nothing ever gets done. There's got to be a bunch of people stand up. But uh, they go into that. But anyway, in the show, they said that uh, uh, And then in the show, as it goes through, uh, this company, they don't name Monsanto by name. I guess they probably get sued. I don't know if I could or not, but let's face it, if I do, then uh, he can get blood out of a turnip. Of course, damn so then. So there's that. Um, they mentioned 90% and it was funny I looked it up somewhere just a while ago and they said 96% of all corn grown in the United States and a few other countries uh, was genetically modified. Here they say 90%, but there's another number that's been updated. Um, well, look at there. All kinds of shot. But anyway, um, this company has got all these seeds and 90 percent of everything being grown in corn is grown from their seeds and like i say you'd have to see i think it's seed destruction that you can see how they they go through in one of those movies and they show you how they actually break the dna and strand apart it's not crispr technology it's the technology that was here before crispr um I think if you don't know what crispr is you need to look at it so then it's genetically modifying humans and creating rats that go in the dark, goats that go in the dark, 
spiders or a goat's that milk spider web type stuff. And it's, you can imagine how strong that could be. It's, it all sounds like sci-fi, but it's not. But anyway, they, they have these seeds. And I don't know who this Mother Jones is, but they're a piece of shit. But um, they've done the one thing that really they hadn't thought, hadn't thought of. I mean, I think Trump's way of them just quitting the crop or waiting a year or two on crop and then bring it back out so he can get more money out of it. But in this case, when there was so much of it planted, they weren't just teasing around with the crop. They were holding back on it. And just accumulate more and more and more as they splice them through their labs. And they were basically going to start people out. You'd be surprised what all coins in. And you'd be surprised how many people can cook unless it's already partially done. But as there here says, it's, it's probably on that now. 60 to 70% of foods in the supermarket shelves. Papayas in Hawaii, 77% are GMOs as of 1998. Milk, RGBH, become a bovine growth hormone. And there's another one too, RGBT. Um, it's, a lot of this stuff is banned everywhere but here. That's because our government's bought and paid for it. You know, even if you get the milk that's, you know, got all the, the steroids free, they still are plenty of products like ice cream and cheese. They contain no more money. Uh, yeah, that's what they hit first, was the sweet corn. I successfully petitioned, no. We found stuff in Trader Joe's and Whole Foods, at one time, was part owned by Monsanto. I don't know if they still are or not. But I wouldn't trust Whole Foods as far as I could walk in and throw something. Now Walmart, if you look hard at Walmart, you can find some Lily's corn that's non-GMO. And it's funny, it's 88 cents a can here, where it was. If you go to Whole Foods, the same cans will cost you about five bucks. Zucchini and squash. Uh, I know from gardening, most of your crook neck, uh, more crook neck than straight neck, more zucchini than crook neck or straight neck. Uh, and they are bioengineered, they're not real food. All natural foods. Uh, here's General Mills Campbell Soup Company is the worst Campbell, it's the worst soup that you can buy, it's the most damaging potatoes uh, there used to be 400 types of potatoes and now you've got two or three types but I think they had to finally give up on their uh, gene, genetically modified ones. Seedless watermelon, I don't know. Salmon. It says currently no meat, fish, or egg products. Products are genetically engineered. Though a company called Aqua Bounty has an application. They have been approved. And the salmon, what a lot of people were fussing about, is the salmon that they created uh, this thing is a lot bigger than a normal salmon, and they're afraid that they'll kill them. And I think there's something different in their meat. Uh, soy milk, you should never drink soy milk or eat of that soy. Unless it has that uh, non GMO sticker. 93% of the soy that's grown here in the United States is genetically engineered. Rice. Uh, 
fellow for genetically engineered, but you, you buy rice. You uh, you need to uh, make sure that there wasn't cotton grown because with that comes uh, oh shoot arsenic. Now, the United States years ago made some rice for Kent or uh, China, and it made the women mis miscarriage and uh, made a bunch of them sterile. Pissed China off. That's about the time they give us the melamine and the cat food and kill a bunch of cats. And they were giving it pretty much everybody. Uh, Japan got the more, they would mix it in with their eggs. So Japan got the more, they wouldn't even buy nothing from them. Uh, foods, food companies, required to let me know whether the products contain GMOs, not, not the United States. They do not have to let you know shit. I'll tell you something about corn. Me and my wife one year, we had about, I'd say not quite a quarter, it was about like an eighth of the garden, eighth of an acre uh, of corn out. And ours was open pollinated. Anything that's not open pollinated is genetically modified or genetically engineered. Uh, these deer that migrate through here, our neighbor had a good half acre, almost probably, I'd say he almost had an acre out of just pure corn. But he got ambrosia and uh, let's see, what else was it? Peaches and cream. Um, those deer and coons, they walked through his all uh, his patch of corn. I mean, literally walked through it and did not touch a thing. They did not eat a bite and just wiped us out. Uh, animals made more sense than to eat it. So the, the corn, you know, they say, oh, well, It costs more to grow genetically. It costs more to grow natural corn. And in a way it does. The thing that corn has when it's genetically odd, been created is it all, it's like June strawberries. It all comes in at one time. You know, within a few days or a week or so. Or open pollinated doesn't. Open pollinated comes in at different times. And so you just kind of watch your silks. But if you've got enough of it out, you're going to get a mess the way it goes. And there, I heard some oil yolks that list chemicals she used on uh, genetically modified corn. That's a lie. Your corn husks are looser on a uh, genetically modified and they're thinner. What does that mean? That means bugs get into them easier. On your your open pollinated corn, what I call your real corn. I'm not really sure where I left off, but another telemarketer on the phone. Also the government gives them jobs. But anyway, uh, these these husks and everything. So they they are having to use a chemical fertilize and it's made out of petroleum oil, basically. Uh, petrochemical fertilizer. And that's fine, you know, when you're starting out I guess, but it's it's all it's NBK. It's only got three of the what, forty something elements that you need for your soul to be healthy. Um,
but these things are loose and these husks are so the worms invade them so that means a whole lot of pesticides and you're spraying for worms that you wouldn't even have to spray for if you were growing real corn um, but as long as you're you know growing their corn or you're eating their corn and you don't know what this corn is going to do to you uh, they can do anything to you and if they say oh no we study your bullshit there's 238 distinct varieties seeds you know they get used to your soil your environment they only introduced GMO sweet corn in 2011 now they might tell you well, we studied it and here's the way that goes they open them up their own little lab they name it another name I have it kind of away from them a little bit and then they test their own products write your own papers if you will then they give it to the FDA and the FDA says well good you've already graded them you're accepted uh, especially when the FDA had an FDA uh, used to work him on, he was a big one at Monsanto. Monsanto just recently sold it out to pay her. But Monsanto split a couple of years ago, a couple of three years ago, to where they had the agri side of it and they had the chemical side of it. So I don't know how much they bought of what. Uh, anyway, they want more money for animal feeds. No, I don't know why they would. They do, but I don't know why they would. Because you leave the corn on the stalk until it's dried out. You watch and see. You can go on find videos of them harvesting corn. They have a machine that they, some of them times they pull it beside the tractor, sometimes it's, it is the tractor. But they go through there, and it separates the stock from the ear. Papa used to have one like that. All these kids, he'd grow the pumpkins in with the corn, and we would, uh, have to, it stopped when he come to a pumpkin, and me and Joe would jump off the wagon, and we'd go collect that pumpkin. I'm not really sure where I left off, but another telemarketer on the phone. Also, the government gives them jobs. But anyway, uh, these these husks and everything, so they they are having to use a chemical fertilizer, and it's made out of petroleum oil, basically. Uh, petrochemical fertilizer and that's fine you know when you're starting out I guess but it's it's all it's NBK it's only got three of the what, 40 something elements that you need for your soul to be healthy um, but these things are loose and these husks are so the worms invade them so that means a whole lot of pesticides and you're spraying for worms that you wouldn't even have to spray for if you were growing real corn um, but as long as you're you know growing their corn or you're eating their corn and you don't know what this corn is going to do to you uh, they can do anything to you and if they say oh no we study your bullshit there's 238 distinct varieties seeds you know they get used to your soil your environment they only introduced GMO sweet corn in 2011 
Now, they might tell you, well, we studied it. And here's the way that goes. They open them up their own neat lab. They name it another name. I have it kind of away from them a little bit. And then they test their own products, write their own papers, if you will. Then they give it to the FDA, and the FDA says, well, good, you've already graded them. You're accepted. Uh, especially when the FDA, head of the FDA, uh, used to work at Mon he was a big will at Monsanto. Monsanto just recently sold it out to pay her. But Monsanto split a couple of years ago, a couple of three years ago, to where they had the agri side of it and they had the chemical side of it. So I don't know how much they bought of what. Uh, Anyway, them wanting more money for animal feeds? No. I don't know why they would. They do, but I don't know why they would. Because you leave the corn on the stalk until it's dried out. You watch and see. You can go on and find videos of them harvesting corn. They have a machine that they, some of them times they pull it beside the tractor. Sometimes it's, it is the tractor. But they go through there, and it separates the stock from the ear. Papa used to have one like that. All these kids, he'd grow the pumpkins in with the corn, and we would uh, have to hit stop when he come to a pumpkin, and me and Joe would jump off the wagon, and we'd go collect that pumpkin. I found finally who I was trying to find. Uh, Jeffrey M. found his name uh, finally. Uh, Jeffrey Smith, extremely, extraordinarily smart at this. And there's a little Indian lady too, not American Indian. Uh, uh, she's a India Indian. She's good. She's smart. But Jeffrey shows you how they go in and uh, manipulate the seeds and how they can pull that off. But anyway, I could get into more detail on the corn. Uh, tomatoes is one thing that they really, they've got them real bad. Uh, Matter of fact, when you go to Lowe's, Home Depot, anywhere around here that's got bonnie seed or bonnie plants, most all bonnie plants are GMOs. Now they're saying the F1 isn't. It's probably like when I was a kid, Papa liked, he liked white and he liked uh, yellow corn all together, mixed. So he'd buy some Silver Queen, some Golden Harvest, I think it was. It was some other, it was a gold bent corn. <coughs> and he would throw them all these seeds into one bag, juggle them around, and then plant them. And a lot of times they would cross. You know, that's the way you used to get peaches and cream. Now, though, they, they've got that down patented pretty much. But uh, then you got... Uh, Genetically engineered cotton. Over in India, it was one farmer ever so many minutes committed suicide. Like our farmers used to be, they uh, you have to look over my voice. Now, this is not a good day for talking. But they were talked into and almost pushed into growing this genetically modified cotton. And just like any other genetically modified stuff, they had to buy more petrochemicals or petrol fertilizers. Uh, 
then they had to buy more uh, petrol, uh, I mean, more chemical pesticides. Then they had to buy more chemical herbicides. So, and it, then they had to buy their seeds where they used to keep them. And so, the first year it grew, it just, I mean, man, it, it done real good. Second year, it done so so. After that, it's, it's just went all to pieces. And these people, they're losing their farms because they have to borrow money to grow all this. Uh, the where it used to cost them X number of dollars, now it's like three times that, four times that. And so, uh, they've uh, started killing themselves because they're losing their farms. It's just, you get people like, the benefits of GMO corn. How the hell do they know? It's not even been out that long. And it definitely wasn't tested. Uh, anyway, in the show, this company, they create, or they were working on creating a famine. And they were the only ones had those seeds. So not only would they create a famine, they'd be rich. But, now, what else do we go to? Uh, where's the movie? They also mention in the show uh, a lot of underground bases, but they don't really hit on them hard. But it's called Dumbs, D-U-M-B-S, D-U-M-B, uh, Deep Underground Military Base. And they're everywhere. You and I won't get to them, but they're everywhere. Uh, and I also mentioned briefly, because the CIA's there, they're the one that does all this crap. Uh, they didn't call it that, but it's Monarch Butterfly with the butterflies. And they have MK Ultra, which I think they do call that by name, but there's a lot of different parts of MK Ultra. You know, there's the little sex kitten thing, there's the split personality thing. There's just MK Ultra is a catch all name. But, or. I'll probably make another video on this. Man, this thing's got all kinds of cool information. Stuff that I've got. If you've seen the books that I have, it's ridiculous. So why am I doing this now? What are they going to do? Kill me? I done got cancer, so. Okay, I'm. I could talk forever on food, preparation, uh, food type, harvest, planting. That's a thing with me. Uh, you are what you eat, and you are what you ate, eat. But I mentioned a couple of things that I heard them mention on the show. One was in MK Ultra and the butterfly. This is MK Ultra. Ooh, I need to click at some videos. That's MK Ultra uh, with the videos. If that looks familiar, it are too. But uh, there's more than just that. MK Ultra is more or less a mind control, is what it is. And it's something the CIA has worked very diligently on. This is, and this, everyone on this website has done quite a bit of research. Uh, comes out with a bunch of stuff. I mean, a bunch. I'm impressed. That took a lot of years studying that up, researching it out. 
but also him or somebody. It's mind control. This must be it. I wanted to show you uh, butterflies and rabbit holes. You know, I told you it was a conglomerate. It's got many, many different sections to what it is and which one they put you under. He's got a lot of little cute things. I was like, I'm naughty. I'll see that. Bring the program. I believe he was one of our group. I don't know that for sure. Short history. Disassociative identity disorder, alter ego triggers, mind control symbolism, monarch symbolism, blue bird, multiple personal personalities. Symbolism, monarch, burkot, butterfly, puppets, rainbows, white rabbits, six kittens, Mickey Mouse, battle of silence, silence programming, friend of Sonic Health of silence, why this matters to you. Jaker Hoover said, the individual is handicapped by coming face to face with the conspiracy. So monstrous, he cannot believe it exists. The American mind simply has not come to a realization of the evil which has been introduced into our midst. It rejects even the assumption that a human creature could espouse a philosophy which must ultimately destroy all that is good and decent. That was J.P. Hoover. You can go back and read these. Adolf Huxley, who wrote, uh, you right. Anyway, facts do not cease to exist because they are ignored. Any other little keep blocking Jeff out here. And here is where MK Ultra of the CIA come from. The more we do to you, the less you seem to believe we are doing it. Joseph Mingle. Ah, uh, yeah, no. He was the devil himself. God, he was bad. Hopefully he's dead in hell right now. Operation Paperclip. From this, they formed NASA, the CIA, and uh, Plum Island. Or Lyme Tick. Uh, well, there's been a bunch of diseases. West Nile virus. Uh, foot, uh, hoof and mouth disease. There's just a lot of stuff up there. And I'll sort of want to talk about sure that washed up on the beach. Can you believe this thing? Yeah, right here from Ral Roker. He just freezes. It's like he's a statue. He don't blink, he don't move. Expression doesn't change for quite a while. Uh, 45 seconds. Plant in two minutes, same way. Can West, 31 seconds. Hollywood. Yeah. 
compartmentalize. I want to show you that in little girls. Britney Spears. She had a breakdown, you know. I have someone else that takes over when it's time for me to go to work. When I'm on stage, this alter ego that I've created, Beyonce. See, this, this dude has really collected a lot of information. Project Bluebird. Twitter is also a bluebird. Hollywood promotes this crap, folks. Monarch Butterfly. Now, what's the odds that all these fancy people are going to have butterflies all around them? And this right here, this is the hush mark. You're being told to be quiet. Also, there's an old saying that that little dip in between the lips, that the devil gave you that. When he looked at you, he put his finger apart with him. Shh. See, I mean, look at all the people with butterflies. The other symbol they use a lot is the uh, eye of horse. That's when you only see uh, one eye. Six kidding. Why would grown up people dress like this and do that? It's like Kali. That's goofy looking. Well, I don't know what she turned out to be. So anyway, I already give you enough of uh, the Meyer Institute right here has got plenty of YouTube research on his website for a while. Tomorrow when. Oh, here's a Edward Benet. He was a uh, nephew or cousin. He had some kin to uh, Sigmund Freud. We know what a pervert he was. He says, if we understand the mechanism and motives of the group mind, it is now possible to control and regiment the masses according to our will without them knowing. Edward Bernays was the one who invented think tanks. Most of these people right here, they didn't do so well. But that's enough of that. Let's look at another thing I mentioned that they mentioned. Deep underground military bases. See for that they are real. And 
Let's get some pictures of some. Some people are in some of too. Some people have killed them. How's that for all in the ground? Boom! Boom! How's this for deep underground? They have their own waterway. There's something showing some of the bases. So you see there is really deep underground military bases. And there's some underneath the water now. So we're all getting slaughtered out of here. Make us stay alive. And it's not that they want to save anybody. They won't. Basically, take out a lot of humanity. Well, this is already too long. Uh, let's keep going and going and going. We're not going to keep going. But one of the best things to cover. Or maybe go down into this pretty deep one time. There are ducks. Bye-bye.